Meghan Markle has to toe the party line when it comes to her personal beliefs to meet with the requirements of being a member of the royal family, former royal butler Paul Burrell claimed. Meghan Markle has been praised for settling into her new role as a senior member of the royal family quickly since marrying Prince Harry last week. But commentators have suggested the Duchess of Sussex encountered some issues with more traditional royal staffers, ruffling feathers due to her personal take on the role. Asked whether Meghan should accept to tone down her beliefs and her opinions, former royal butler Paul Burrell told Yahoo's The Royal Box, Yes, of course. What comes with maturity is a set of beliefs and they don't always sit well with the royal family, she has to toe the party line. But the former courtier suggested Meghan Markle will learn with time as there is no rulebook to explain to new members of the royal family how to behave when joining. He continued, there is no rulebook, there is no etiquette lesson, there are no advisors. Nobody prepares people coming into the royal family. I think that's where it has gone wrong in the past. Not even Diana was given tuition into entering the royal family. Grand Harold, who worked as butler to Prince Charles for over seven years, also claimed the Duchess of Sussex has not been taking classes in either protocol or etiquette. He told Express.co.uk Meghan could take a few years to see how it works but insisted she appeared to have grown much more confident since marrying into the family in 2018. The Duchess made a surprise appearance on Saturday to catch a baseball game between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees alongside husband Harry. The outing marked her second official outing since giving birth to her son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor on May 6. The youngest member of the royal family is to be christened on July 6 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor surrounded by a small group of relatives and friends of his parents. Meghan and Harry announced earlier this week they planned to keep the service private and would not have members of the press take their picture or Archie's despite previous members of the family agreeing to a candid photo call. The couple will instead release official pictures taken by photographer Chris Allerton, who also worked at their wedding and captured the first meeting between the Queen and their son at Windsor in May. The Duke and Duchess also revealed they will not disclose details about who they chose to serve as godparents to young Archie. ITV royal editor Chris Ship wrote on Twitter discussions with Meghan and Harry's communication team suggested the selected friends are private citizens, despite months of speculation pointing at the former actress celebrity friends as potential picks. Mr. Ship said, following much helpful commentary from the Sussex squad, I sought guidance on whether it was the godparents who wished to remain private, or Harry and Meghan who wished to keep their detail private. The answer was both. The godparents, I'm told, are not public figures or celebrities, but private citizens. And therefore both they, and Harry and Meghan, don't wish their names to be made public. Royal biographer Penny Jr. has also attacked the couple's demands for privacy and previously branded the move a terrible mistake. She said, we're not asking for Archie to become public property but to be able to share in the pleasure of his christening, I think it is only fair to give the public that pleasure. Because although Archie himself is not going to be a working member of the royal family, so far as we can tell he's going to be brought up as a normal child, that's fine but Harry is very much a part of the royal family as we've known it over the years. People love him and they're really happy for him, he's married Meghan and they've had the baby, and they want to share in the joy of that and I think this is a terrible shame and I think it's a mistake. 